No one deserves this gorilla grip, unless you're my boo. <laughs> Good y'all bulbs, y'all tits, y'all bristles. Oh my god, it looks like I'm naked, but I got a shirt on. A couple of things before we move on. Apologies if you can hear a little humming in the background. It's cold. I'm cold. I live in Canada. It's freezing. I'm using a heater. All right. Anyways. Also, I did buy an SD card recently, but I don't have scissors to open it. So I decided to film this on my phone. Hope that's all right with ya. Anyways, hello. Hi, y'all bulbs. I decided to film a little video before I stream. I stream in like an hour, so if you aren't following me on Twitch yet, follow me, please, please. My username is Jalabi with four E's. This is gonna be, you know, a little ramble, chit chat type of chill, a chill video. Today's topic is hookup culture. All right, first of all, what is hookup culture, you may ask? By definition, thanks to Google, a hookup culture is one that accepts and encourages casual sex encounters, including one night stands and other related activity, without necessarily including emotional intimacy, bonding, or a committed relationship. Hmm, how are we feeling about that, folks? Well, I'm here to talk about it because I am sick and tired of hookup culture. Like, dead ass. I mean, of course, first off, I would be a hypocrite if I said I never participated in hookup culture. I don't even know how to film this. I mean, okay, yeah, sure, yeah, I have participated in hookup culture. Do I still want to? Hell to the no. I am sick of this BS. Like, I mean, sure, it's cool. Ugh, no, I have very mixed feelings about it. Back when I, like, was cool with it and, like, I kind of enjoyed it, whatever, I was like, hey, whatever, this is cool. It's just like a fun time. But, you know, people grow, they learn some things, and they change, and I've... F okay, oh my god, I don't even know. I'm getting like heated over this. Heated because there's a heater. Yeah, yeah, I have, I have participated in it in the past. Back then, I kind of had the mindset where I was like, hey, cool, this is like casual business, you know? Just the norm. And it's so sad that this is the norm. Like literally, so many people out there, like especially obviously within my age group because you know, we're in our prime years, we're effing sh shied up. But it sucks, it sucks, it really sucks because I feel like nowadays, literally everyone's like, sex, whatever, like I have sex left and right. I don't like it. I don't like it because I feel like because of hookup culture, it makes a lot of girls a lot of women, me included, even some men out there, some some of the good boys, uh, it just makes the people who don't like hookup culture or who don't participate in hookup culture lose faith in potential romantic partners type of, type of stuff, you dig? Like, I'm not gonna lie, yeah, hookup culture has made me like low-key lose faith in like actually finding a good-ass boyfriend. I don't know. First of all, literally, you ask a girl, a lot of girls' mindsets are gonna be like, in, in terms of guys, a lot of girls' mindsets are gonna be like, all men cheat, like, this is just a norm, like, I'm expecting to be cheated on because all men do it. Like, isn't that fucking sad? Like, that's, that's ridic. That is ridic to me. And yeah, sometimes I think like that too, because bruh, even my ex-best friend cheated on the girl who he was dating with me. Like, what the Cheaters are so disgusting, let me throw that out there. If you're a cheater, go apologize and do something to make up for whoever you hurt. Like, I don't F with cheaters, like, cheaters are nasty to me, like, it's so disgusting. Oh! Yeah, I have to admit, I have had those thoughts where I'm like, Psh, every man is gonna cheat, blah, 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 and it's fucking sad. And yeah, sometimes I feel like I'm losing faith in terms of finding like you know a faithful loyal like legitimate partner because of how the norm is literally hookup culture i feel like yeah a fear of mine is getting cheated on because that shit is so fucking annoying it is so disgusting oh my god okay you know what let me throw this out there just so you guys know and maybe if you're like me you'll join you'll join me on this journey but one of my goals this year of 2021 is not to have smacks unless it's with the bae. Like, unless I get a boyfriend, unless I get a girlfriend, then I'll have sex with that person. But I'm not gonna casually, oh, I'm not gonna casually, you know, fuck around, you know? Because obviously everybody has different mindsets 
with like how they perceive sex and stuff like that but to me i think of sex as a very sacred thing like to me sex is sacred because you're literally exchanging energies with whoever it is you're smexing with you're absorbing whatever energy they have so if they have bad vibes you're gonna be absorbing those bad vibes and yeah vice versa y you dig like literally sex stands for sexual energy exchange i believe obviously there will be some people out there who think whatever i'm talking about is barong bonk people will probably think i'm crazy and not have the same mindset as me i don't give a damn to me you're literally exchanging and absorbing whoever energy who, who whoever you're smexing with yeah <laughs> That is why people who like bang multiple people, like not at once, not, not a whole ass gangbang, but like people who have smex with multiple partners, imagine how many, how many energies they're absorbing. Say they're banging like five different people. You're absorbing five different energies. Oh Lord. Like think about it. That is why they end up feeling shitty randomly sometimes. That's why sometimes they'll suddenly feel depressed. Or they'll feel like ass. Think about all the energies you're absorbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, to each their own because some people don't think the way I do. But it's just like, damn. I get it. Go have fun. If like that's what you like to do. You like to F around with like different people. Go ahead. Like I'm not hating on anybody who's like that or who does that. But it's just like, that's just not for me anymore. Like I only have two bodies. But like I don't really see myself going out there and smexing a bunch of different people. Also, sexual energy is so powerful. I'm not just gonna give... Or like, I'm not just gonna let go of that energy by just smexing a person I don't even care about. Like, it's so whack. Like, I want to have smex with someone I genuinely care about and like, someone who I genuinely have a genuine connection with. Yeah, dig. Again, again, let me throw this out there. I'm not hating on people who do participate in hookup culture and who like it. It's just... For me and the other people who don't like hookup culture, it's it's kind of sad. I don't know, just like so many people think sex is just a casual, simple thing. But I don't think that way. Yeah, so Galibee announces, I will not be having smex unless... unless okay, unless I really, really super badly want it. Like, I'll have a code word. I'll, I'll give myself like a safe word. Drop suggestions in the comments. Yeah, unless I like super badly, badly want to have smex suddenly throughout the year i'll give myself a code word but like seriously i really don't i don't see the appeal anymore like i don't have any intentions or desires to go smex some random person out there i know people will like disagree with what i'm saying but like like i said to each their own i don't give a damn everyone has their own opinions and views on whatever so this is just like my opinion on smex and hookup culture i need to find people who are like me and who think of smex as swag you know what i mean like I, I feel like i feel like because i'm streaming soon i'm kind of rushing through this video and so like in in case i forget to mention something i wanted to talk about in this video then i'll, I'll put it in the comments i gotta admit like yeah yeah sometimes i do lose faith and i have the mindset where i'm like fudge no one everyone's a cheater and blah 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 but at the same time I know my person is out there somewhere so I just I gotta remember that the universe and God got my back you know my boo is somewhere out there if you're watching this I hope you're a stoner <laughs> also I feel like my standards are low-key pretty freaking high now because I mean if you watch romance animes go so get me a get me a boyfriend who watches romance animes that's where it's at that's where it's at if they watch romance animes you know damn well actually my ex-best friend watched plenty of romance animes and he ended up cheating anyway. So what the hell? Yeah, but no, no, no. I'm not gonna let that get to my head. You know, I know the universe has me. My boo is somewhere out there. I hope to meet you someday. Or maybe I even, or maybe I already know you. <gasps> that might spice things up. Low-key though, I have to admit, like I've low-key been craving a boyfriend. Like how cute, like dude, I would be so cute if I had like a little boyfriend. Someone to share cute, wholesome moments with. Someone to cuddle, you know, someone, someone to grow with you know, you dig i really i kind of do feel like i left a bunch of stuff out but we're just gonna have to make do with whatever footage i have but yeah y'all let me know comment comment down below like what your opinions of hookup culture and smacks are i want to see if people have the same mindset as me where they think of sex as a sacred thing or if like no hate of course i just want to know like what kind of people just go, i just want to know what you guys think of this whole shebang yeah no smex for me unless it's with 
my boo because I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my sexual energy to myself you know you know you dig like it kind of disgusts me now like thinking about it like bro you, none of y'all deserve my my gorilla grip unless you're my boo no one deserves this gorilla grip unless you're my boo all right all right i'm not gonna lie that loki got me heated like i feel like i could go on and on talking about my opinions and just like ranting about hookup culture and how it makes me feel like yeah in the past i thought it was pretty fucking cool but now i'm like what the fuck and i've only had two bodies also guys need to freaking clean their schlong like dead ass y'all are nasty if you don't oh my god oh my god oh my god i don't even want to talk about that she's gonna make me throw up like also if you see me on any dating apps that is a catfish because i'm not on any dating apps right now like i'll literally only go on tinder and stuff for fucks like i'll only go on it if i'm feeling bored but I don't have any intentions of like literally finding someone. I, w I honestly do not want to have a boo from Tinder or like from an online dating app because in the back of my mind, I'll have the thought of like, hey, wait a second. They had Tinder before. They can go on Tinder anytime. You, you see how scary that is? Like that's freaking nuts to me. Like, yeah, I do not want to meet any more people. Like actually it's kind of cool how like I made some friends on Tinder, like literally. But in terms of a boo, I ain't doing that shit no more. Like I did meet my ex best friend on Tinder. That was cool, but like look what happened. I don't know y'all. It's a big fat mess out there. Y'all, like the fact that you could be in a relationship with someone and they could secretly be on like a dating app, like that is just so disgusting to me. I don't even want to think about that. I don't. It's just sick. It is effing sick and not in a good way. It is so uneasy to think about that stuff. Like that is so nasty. I ain't ever going on any dating apps ever again. No hate to people who do use dating apps and who are on dating apps and dating websites. Like no hate to y'all. It's just like, for me, that's just how I feel about it now. I'll only ever be on Tinder or something if I'm bored and I just wanna see what kind of people are out there. But no, no, that is not for me. Anyways, it is 7.34 and I have to stream at 8 p.m. So, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching, especially if you stay to the end. If you see this, comment, Jalabi is so swag. Shout out to the people who watched my stream. Talk to me in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about hookup culture and smex. I want to know your guys' like, mindset about the whole thing and like your perspective and your opinions. Let's have a try it. If you enjoyed this video, please thumb me hard, please and thanks. I would very much appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. I post every Tuesday. Turn on post notifications if you want. If you don't want Tuesday, it's cool too. Swag. That's it, folks. I'm going to prepare for my stream. I'll see you in the next video, Della Bobes.